the Welsh army's here. I think we need to we need to fight them at some point. Uh, but right now we've got 500 more men than them. But if we went and attacked them here, we'd be fighting them at odds that I don't necessarily like. So I think now's the time to form a line. Wait, didn't we? Okay, I don't remember. But we can just set it up again. I think Webby will betroth to her, and that's fine because this guy, uh, as he's taking down. Okay, yes, he'll take the alliance. Okay, cool. And Webby needs an education focus. Let's see how he's been doing. He's gotten better at diploma. He's gotten better at everything overall. Um, yeah. But we're so we could train him to be a spy, a warrior, or uh, a learned learning. But I think learned. I, learning make it, We gave him a scrappy a scrappy lad upbringing, but we're gonna have him hit the books. Uh, no, yeah, you may, uh, let's make him scrappier. More fighting. Yeah, he, he, we've got a great spy, and we've got a great diplomat who are young and are going to serve us for a long time. Uh, yeah. We can't trust these men of books. They always betray us. So, <laughs> And he's he uh, stewardship is his lowest, so I think having more good commanders is going to serve us well. Yeah. All right. Now that he's accepted the alliance, we can call him in to war, and then we will massively outnumber the Welsh. Oh, they intercepted them. Oh god, oh, wow. it's a close one. It's close. Oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh god, the king's calling in. Help. Uh-oh. Oh god. Okay, we <sighs> suffered a defeat. Hang on. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> how far... I, I wish I could see how far back we were retreating. Um... Oh man, we retreated far. We basically just ran all the way across England. Okay, well, whatever. Hang on. It's fine. We can still... We can still pull this off. <laughs> Uh, might be time for some mercenaries. Yeah. I mean, it's that's the main thing to spend money on. We don't need expensive ones. We don't need a lot. We because we we actually do outnumber them. They just got kind of lucky there, and we want to uh, in case they group up with their with their helpers, we want to just be able to outnumber them. So this should be more than enough. That's just another six thousand men, basically. Okay, good. Got another, oh god. Got another, another werewolf. I feel like it's happening more often now. Yeah, we're getting we're getting old. Nine thousand men, we outnumbered them three to one, we will now crush them. That's it, war's over. Easy. Took that land back. This guy now has that land and he loves us. He is as happy as a clam can be. Because wow. we pressed his clam. Yeah. All those heads we give him. All those heads. All all the heads we cut off during that war. Got a prisoner here. He's great at martial, uh, and we can't ransom him. His liege doesn't care enough to ransom him. He's not, like, important or related <laughs> to anybody. Uh, one option that we can do is to recruit him. Okay. So we'll give him a little bit of money while he's in our jail, and then be like, hey, uh, there's more, and there's a job waiting for you if you help me out here and come to my court. So we will recruit him, and we will make him one of our commanders. Make Joseph a commander, too. He's good at it. Oh, wow. He's, he's, yeah. got, he's got 16 Marshall. He's gotten a lot better. Yeah. He also doesn't hate it as much anymore. Yeah. I think I think Joseph's rule is going to be a lot more fighting because he's the one who's going to inherit the claims on England and Wales. So, really, he's yeah. going to be doing more large-scale fighting than even we are. So, I think it's good that he's uh, he's turning into a scrappy, scrappy lad. Scrappy boy. And we fulfilled our ambition to win a war. Yay. War. <laughs> Oh man, look Look how cool Joseph looks in his armor and everything. Whoa. Yeah. That's a fighter. Yep. Who are we fighting now? Orcadian War to make King Robert of England a tributary. Who are you? <sighs> so this independent duke who's up here in the north of Scotland but isn't... Oh, this is... The King of Scotland is a, is a tributary state of this duchy. How is he strong enough to do that? I guess he's, he's just got 2,000 men. They're spread out, but, uh, wow, Scotland is getting absolutely shrecked. Uh, and it looks like England is going to do the same. How does he have so many troops? Earl Magnus of Scotland. Oh, I guess he's calling in. I guess he just has a lot of, um, he just has allies he can call in. Pacts. Yeah, so he has 2,000 by his himself. He can call in the King of Scotland for another 2,000, and then he has an alliance with this guy for another 800. So yeah, that's, that's pretty extensive. 
yes, the King of England is going to be a puppet king. The king's in hiding, where his troops are nowhere to be found actually defending England. All of this in England has already been taken by the tribals. Uh, this is a weak king if I've ever seen one. Yeah. This guy's trying to make us join the tradition faction. No. Get out of here. Get out. Oh, God. The dirty Scots. Oh, uh, the king lost Middlesex, so he took this, he took our county here instead for his capital. <laughs> we hate him. We hate him because of that. We, our opinion of him could not be any lower right now. But the guy leading our faction loves him still. And everyone else in the faction loves him. Yeah. Can't overthrow him like this. How do they like this guy? This guy sucks. Well, he's only really done anything bad to us. Uh, the main reason we hate him is because of... So he usurped our title when he lost Middlesex. It wasn't really his choice which land to take, but he just needed to take some county from one of his vassals. So he ended uh -huh. up taking Rutland, which was ours. So we hate him for that. We hate him because he's raised levies for a really long time. Uh, because he's just been in constant wars. But other people should hate him for that too. He's also losing England. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's trying to kill Count Allen, who we set up the rivalry with in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just let that happen. Yeah, I'm not going to stop it. Probably I don't know. You run through the night, far and farther still, the moon madness driving you. You jump ditches, climb hills, and swim small rivers. You run and run until you are exhausted, then lay down to sleep on the soft ground, just to rest a little. You wake in the morning, but you feel as though you haven't slept at all. You vaguely remember having nightmares. You are cold as well, and wet. What happened during the night? You don't remember at all. No. A sudden shooting pain strikes your chest. After a moment of agony, it passes, for now. Oh, Ooh. we're sick. We have chest pains. I think we gotta get that succession law. Uh, yeah, let's get it done now. <laughs> seniority. Oldest oldest member of the family. Not necessarily children, but just oldest member of the family inherits. But for now, yeah. it'll have to do, because it, it keeps the lands together. Yep. Seemed like that didn't piss off too many people. Made, uh, made Joseph happier, so... Joffrey states that his extensive medical experience leads him to the certain conclusion that your symptom is not due to a serious illness and that it will pass soon. Nevertheless, you will receive some mild treatment. Very well. He insisted you would feel better if your humors were restored to their proper balance and that bloodletting was the best way to go about it. <laughs> I don't think that did anything. Okay. So, on top of being having chest pains, we now uh, just lo lost, <laughs> lost a lot of blood. <laughs> Joffrey, how about you try that one again? <laughs> He's supposed to be a genius. He refurnished your room. Your bed facing eastwards might ease your pain. I'm glad I hired Joffrey. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Fun, he used some feng, oh, wait, feng shui on us. Yeah, it worked. My position as regent to King Robert of England would allow me to lower the crown authority in England. Make it so. We can make the we can give the crown less power over England. Make the vassals have more power. Yes. Uh, we're his regent. Why did he make us the regent? Wow, he's been in, he's in hiding, so he can't run the country. We're basically technically running England right now. I mean, we're not controlling troops or anything like that directly, but in terms of laws and stuff, we're in charge. A, a horrible decision on his part, really. But oh no, Joseph's wife died. Oh no, she was assassinated at age twenty-two. What is going no. on? I'm a daughter-in-law. Joseph is plotting to kill us, and Alice is helping. <gasps> What? <laughs> what What do we even do about this? Do we throw our son and wife in jail? Like, do we just tell them to stop, knowing that they could try again? Like, what, I mean, it's not it's not progressing very well. Neither of them have really the position or the power to do much, but... Uh, I, have I done anything wrong to my wife ever? Like, I, I, she's always... What? Mm, she might just be wanting to rush to get him on the throne? Maybe. That's hurtful. I mean, she, she, yeah, she doesn't like us. 
Oh, you know what? what? She's mad because the other succession law meant that all three of our sons, her sons, would get land, but now only one is getting land, so that made her mad. I don't Tell know. Tell him to stop. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything. I feel like we should maybe spy on Joseph. Uh, just to make yeah. sure he's not plotting. Let's see what he's doing. Mm, what else? Okay, these guys need to stop trying to kill Ali. But maybe if we don't want him to have kids, we should just leave him single? Yeah, let's worry about that later. Yeah, when, when, when we're playing SM, we can worry about yeah. that and what he needs. The, only, the other reason to have a spouse is because they increase your stats passively, depending on how good their stats are, so that's not really going to matter for him until he's ruling. My position as regent to King Robert means that I have access to the treasury. I think I deserve a raise. <laughs> <laughs> and take, steal gold from the... Uh, yeah, take it. What's, yep, he, what's he even going to do about it? He's not even there. What path do we want Philip to tread down in life? Uh, I mean, he, he's only six years old, so his stats don't really... He doesn't really have many stats. Like, right now, he is showing a, somewhat of a tendency towards uh, intrigue, being sp spying and such. And we're, yeah, prob we're probably going to play as him eventually, too, because he's the son of our oldest son. Oh, uh... Make him sneaky, yeah. All right. Who better to raise him to be sneaky than our friend Ali? Oh, that's uh, that's this. This is that's our that's our duchy. We should probably help defend that. Yeah, let's give the king, the king's not, not the king's not gonna do shit. We're fifty years old. Made it. Made it to uh, average life expectancy. Are we We're not dying from anything right no. now, right? Uh, we have we have chest crazy. pains. We have unex wow. we have unexplained chest pains, and we're not sure why. We were told that was nothing. I choose to believe. Yeah, probably from our lifetime of alcoholism more than anything. <laughs> Um, new haircut for an old man? Yes, new haircut. Can't really see his hair because of the hat, but get a new beard. Long beard, yes. Yes. <laughs> the biggest beard. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Love it. Okay, it's not the King of Wales that's attacking us, it's one of his vassals who is actually a lot stronger than him. Alright, let's see how this goes. We got him. Get out of here. And we finished our book. That we were writing. Well, let's see how it turned out. Philippe's Fect Book. Composed by Duke Philippe the Rash as an instruction manual for close combat fighting, this book is a reliable source of information for anybody interested in the fighting style of an English duelist. Neat. Claim Wales. Duke Philippe has given up the ghost at age 51. He died clutching at his heart. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. We are now Duke Joseph of Lincoln. Oh, God. Some good times with this... I knew, I knew it was going to happen. Horrible but wretch of a human being, but... Damn, oh, if, no. damn if he didn't accomplish a lot during his life. Oh, God. But we the move war on. was too much. The war is too much. The war it was too much. He was just sitting. He was sitting at home. He wasn't really doing anything. He'll never get to see. Uh... Wait, he, he. The last thing that happened before he died was uh, going wolf, werewolf. Interesting. He died doing what he loved, eating pigs. Son was born to Webby Mad Dog and Mary DeLacy, named Webby. <laughs> <laughs> Webby Junior. I love it. Are we gonna keep it like that? Yeah, Webby. You add the JR though. He'll go on to invent Webster's Dictionary. Okay, so the sickness is in Darby, which means we gotta close up the gates. Go into hiding with the court. Some commoners have already gathered outside as your guards start closing the gates. A decisive thump sat silences the curious chatter coming from the other side. Your Lord Steward wants to talk about the old tunnels under the castle. The argument is that they should be maintained better now that the times are rough. You never know when you'll have to get out, and quickly. Ooh. It's a good idea, yeah. or are we gonna not trust him and be paranoid? It's a good idea. My liege, uh, the steward catches up with you as you are strolling down the main hall. He looks concerned, and you order him to spit it out, whatever the news is. The tunnels, my lord, he breathes in, and continues to tell you that it seems somebody has been using them. Guards have stumbled upon tools and torches, recently used by the, look by the looks of it. Should we uh, send guard 
send guards to the tunnels to try to catch whoever's sneaking in and out, or completely seal up the tunnels. And if uh, we do that, there's ambush. a ch chance we'll lose Brave, okay? Your guards have captured someone in the tunnels. However, the person does not seem to be completely stable. Your guards' faces are not showing the usual bloodthirst when they present Isabella, a starved-looking and oddly jumpy, jumpy person. Uh, mm -hmm. Isolate her for questioning, throw her in the dungeon, or just execute her. Better safe than sorry. She is... Uh, ask her questions. Yeah, she's got a lot of intrigue, which yeah. is unusual. You approach the locked door warily. Inside, Isabella is talking quietly to herself. The guards tell you she claims to have had a lover at court. They were on the way back to the castle when her beloved fell ill. Devastated from the loss, she remained in the tunnels. She doesn't seem all there, my lord. We can huh. let her join the court, or we can't risk it. She has to leave. Uh... Even if you were to believe the story, she has likely been exposed to disease. You send her out through the main gate. Or whatever disease took the lover of Isabella has obviously left her immune. The somewhat jittery Isabella joins your court. She is not sick. Or she, uh, she is not showing any symptoms. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's take her in. All right. Are we... Yeah, there's... we're not cruel. We are wrathful, so if anyone pisses us off, we'll deal with them. But we are... We're not in any way as cruel as our father was, so... All right. We're still betrothed to a young girl, too. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the princess of Norway. So, I was hoping to make an alliance, but he didn't want to. You are heading for bed after a late night snack when you hear steps behind you in the corridor. Who could it be at this hour? You halt, pretending to admire a tapestry, and the steps die out. Someone is definitely following you. As you enter your chambers, you draw your knife, hide behind the door, and await your pursuer. You almost jump out of your skin when the door's handle slowly begins to move. You knew it. As soon as the hooded figure steps over the threshold, you throw yourself at them, howling, and the two of you fall to the floor. The assassin fights fiercely, and soon she has the upper hand. Fortunately, your battle cry was heard by the guards, and they rush in and save you. At least I live. You survived the assassination attempt. It was Isabella. She was an assassin oh. the whole time. That's alright. There was only a stump where your hand used to be. You are now one-handed. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> We are life-threateningly injured. Oh. But we're young, we're healthy otherwise, so I feel I think we'll get through it. I've had that event go pretty bad before in my own games. <laughs> we did it, the war's over. Our mother rules Wales. Oh. Which means when she dies, we rule Wales. Kill her. <laughs> <laughs> she's 51, she's not going to live long. Yeah, she's almost done. She has chest pains too. She caught, the, she caught the chest pain disease from her husband. <laughs> and let's form an alliance with her so she can help us, and we help her stay in power as well. Oh, our mom already needs help against the Civil War. <laughs> Why is an Ethiopian guy ruling this, like, Danish? <laughs> He's over in Scandinavia. Okay. Must be an interesting story there. We shall give away Lester. And who better to give it to than our brother, right? Yeah. To Webster. I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with Ali tonight. It's lovely, yet what I'm most charmed by is Ali himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which has slowly begun to touch upon some almost heretical ideas, questioning the salvation of God. Oh, is Ali the one that, like, didn't like God in the first place? He has been branded an apostate. He was accused of it, but we just branded him because we need his help. Or we needed his help at the time. We can still imprison him, though, because he is excommunicated. But he's our spy master, so... Yeah, I know. We've gone through this before. Yeah, mm. but on, on Philippe, we were zealous, We but we loved religion, but we're the opposite on Joseph. We're cynical, so I almost feel like at this point, Joseph or Joseph would at least begin to agree with this. He would be mm -hmm. able to accept the questioning God. If we do not ask questions, why did God make us curious? You think it's a great discussion, fueled by alcohol or not. Walking the palisades of my castle, I am joined by Ali. I find myself agreeing with a lot of the concepts he presents. The, futi <laughs> the futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly, he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? What the fuck did he give me? Uh... A, leather, a leather pouch for protection. I'll keep it hidden and I thank you, Ali. Or what is this? I should call you a witch. I'll keep it hidden. 
<laughs> what if I told you that all you have been taught to believe in is a lie, Ali continues, throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of a pentagram. God lied to Adam in the Garden of Eden. Reject the tyrant deity and let the devil guide your steps. Oh. 